we are getting all the raw materials from all the brands which can be trusted at this particular time there is nothing like shortcuts all the chemicals has to be passed through qc qa and micro as well because without the micro approval you cannot take any any of the raw material inside the factory so it has to be tested before it enters the factory only so it will be in the loading bay before it comes to the factory so there we'll get the approval then the loading of loading and the rest of the procedure of the logistic will happen once the chemical will approve that will come for the technical like uh, the development team will, which has recently developed all very nicely they have done from last five six uh, like in like two three months from last two three months which they are doing so they have recently done a very good job and because of that we are able to award the certifications along from all around the world we are trying to get it like you is given the first uh, approval for our product what our technical team has recently uh, just upgraded from our lab basis to commercial basis in last few months once the corona has started spreading we have started taking our production from 24 7 like from 12 hour shift to 24 hour shift and we are running continuously only three lanes we have all completely six to seven lanes we are continuously we are doing the sanitizer production once we get the raw material cleared from the quality qc and micro so it will come to the production as as required for the technical specifications and the requirement of the cattle so it comes to the production and then we do the manufacturing i'll just give you a glimpse of how we do the manufacturing see there is a gelling agent and there is a vehicle and there is an active so we first make the gel and then there is a vehicle so we just mix both the things and then we add some additives in that so when I said gel, gel is the vehicle here and the actives when I say it's the IPA which uh, which is actually approved by USFD as the most uh, impact material today on the viruses. So that is a major part there and this is the way how we are doing the manufacturing. There is a little mixing and all, a small stuff is there of mixing and all and it will directly go to the filling line where I say that there is a primary packaging, secondary, tertiary and quarter uh, is there. So the primary packaging will happen where there is no human intervention. Once the manufacturing is done, it will directly pass into the machine and automatically it will be sealed off and the final packaging will happen. From there again, it will go to quality control and quality assurance and micro till they approve the product. It cannot go to the market before the approval of microbiology first. Sterling perfume industries are currently trying to be in the topmost for the social cost to provide sanitizers as it's one of the best thing which WHO recommends for the world or for everybody to be used in a regular basis. So currently we are doing the manufacturing of around 200,000 uh, pieces per day in all short, all forms like 65 ml, 200 ml, 500 ml, 1 liter as per the cons consumer requirement and also in the cans we are in the market and we are trying to reach by 300,000 pieces a day to reach maximum volume of UAE as, as far as UAE and around the world where we can reach.